Tom Pierce, Mother Warhawk himself. Warhawk is in. Let's bring him in. Studio. And I'll say hi and then go grab a barrel quick. There you go. What's up, my man? What's up? How you guys doing? Oh, doing lovely, man. You got to say, um, you know, your, your name's floating around for a long time in New England. You you, you know, you in and kind of admi admiration from afar. And you, you know, you came to Cage Titans back uh, in January and you did not disappoint. What a what finish performance, my man. Appreciate that. Yeah, it was a good opportunity. I was looking for a fight. Popped up. Uh, I remember uh, coming down the corner of my buddy for uh, your guys' show last year. Um, great venue. Uh, so, yeah, I jumped on that. Came down. It was a great experience. Yeah, man. I, I remember that was for Or Elvis. Uh, yeah. When he, he, just, he just got done beating me up. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Maybe, <laughs> hey, maybe we'll, and maybe we'll get him on uh, on a future card. I'd love to bring him back. He, trying to get him back in there. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully soon. Yeah. He had an amazing performance uh, back then. That was the day-night doubleheader against yeah, uh, Danny yeah. Moore. He picked up the victory. Um, I think Kevin Carey, a teammate of yours, threw, he threw me a message. Yeah, he, uh, he, he actually messaged me. He told me to tell you to uh, get him a fight. <laughs> he, wants, <laughs> he wants to get on it. There you go. Well, you got the whole tribe over at Synthesis BJJ. Um, you know, going into your fight with uh, Earthquake, um, you know, what was it like preparation for that? And then to go out there and kind of put on that performance. Was that something like, you know, I don't want to make it sound cocky or anything like that, but like, was that just kind of, you knew that's what you were going in there to do. And, and, and was there any surprises with that performance for you? Or, you know, sometimes people are like, wow, I didn't think I was going to make it look like that. And they do it. Or were you just kind of like, you knew what you were going to do going into it. Yeah, we knew uh, the game plan was pretty straightforward. Uh, not not um, stand there and may, uh, brawl with him. Um, get my hands on him early, take him down, um, and get the job done quick. Uh, that was a plan. Um, I mean, you never know how, how strong or how, how good someone is until you get in there with them. Um, but, you know, I was able to uh, get on a good takedown, get him down quick. And I, I knew as soon as, you know, as soon as the fight went to the ground, it was going to be uh, – a short night, you know, it was just uh, get, getting it there, being careful, getting it there, not getting called anything. But, uh, yeah, I went according to plan. Um, that was that was my plan, get back in there, get a get a quick fight in, get a quick win on my belt, and uh, get right back in there with no damage, and that's what we did. Yeah. Nope. Damage Scott free. And from my understanding, I didn't Was the really... elbow damaged? Uh, yeah, that, that, was, uh, that was pretty bruised up. It's actually just finally not – um, hurting me anymore, so I can finally throw elbows training, like on the back and stuff. <laughs> now, you've got no former wrestling background. Am I to understand that correctly? Because uh, you could have fooled me with the fight footage leading up into this past fight and with the way that you perform. But no high school wrestling, no college no, wrestling. Never, you kind of uh... just. Yeah, everyone always like um, says I was a wrestler, and they're always mentioning my wrestling and whatever. But um, I never, yeah, not, I never formally wrestled growing up. Um, I, I didn't start, you know, wrestling until I started training, you know, um, you know, seven, seven or so years ago now. But yeah, no formal wrestling growing up. Um, just, just since I started training. But it worked out well. I mean, that's kind of the GS, the GSP route. Yeah. Never wrestled whatsoever, but that was. Uh, the game plan that led him to becoming one of the, the goats of the sport and seems to be the trend. He didn't have that wrestling wear and tear from growing up, but however you fell into it, it's served as a dominating facet of your game. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think, um, you know, MMA wrestling is a lot different than, you know, regular wrestling. Um, so it's a little bit different. My style is geared towards that, but um yeah, I didn't grow up with the with the formal wrestling background, you know. Um, I played, you know, football pretty much growing up my whole life. So, um, yeah, jumped just straight into it and got after it. But are you a fan? Was, speak, so. Speaking of that notion, are you a fan of the UFC? Did you watch the UFC? Because I think that just played out this weekend. Marab versus uh, Henry Cejudo. You got an Olympic champion yeah. wrestler versus, you know, kind of similar to your style. And he mentioned GSP. Yeah, no, I did watch that. It was impressive. He was able to continually take uh, Cejudo down and pick him up, carry him across the cage at one point. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty impressive. But, yeah, that just shows, like, um, MMA, it's, it's its own sport. You know, obviously wrestling is a big part, but MMA wrestling is a little different than, you know, traditional wrestling, you know, that guys do growing up and in college. Um, you know, there's a lot of guys who, you know, like, 
high level division one wrestlers and stuff that if I just got on the mat and just straight up wrestled them, you know, they, they might get the better of me, but I'm confident that in an MMA fight, you know, I would out wrestle them. So it's a different sport. Um, and yeah, I picked it up. I picked it up well. So, um, picked it up well and did you did indeed you did on hell of a tear right now. And, Leading up into this next fight with Everett Desolet after the last performance against Aaron Trussell and Desolet's performance last show, this fight just came to fruition quite naturally. Uh, two faces that are reasonably unfamiliar to the cage tight in this crowd, but you guys exploded onto the map, and now here you are finding yourself in that much. Still there. Still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was asking, how's the preparation going with this new matchup ahead, and, and how's it different with the new opponent that you have ahead of you? Oh, um, yeah, you know, uh, we uh, fought on the same card, obviously. Um, we watched some film. Um, he doesn't really have much film out there. He's only three fights, and they're all relatively short. Um, you know, he's a shorter, stocky, explosive guy. Um, Fuck, I was yelling. Casey, Casey, can you? Casey, can, I'm sorry, I was just doing this. Now you're good. <laughs> now you're good. Uh, no, nah, but he's uh, you know, short, explosive. Um, but he had a wrestling and grappling background growing up, from what we've understood. So, um, I think it's gonna be an exciting fight. Uh, um, yeah, we're just gonna. I'm focused. I, I didn't just focus on me and what I do. You know, we, we watch his film and stuff, but I'm more focused on what I'm going to do than that's really what he's going to do. You know, when you – I think you fought before him, or who? what order was it? I think I was – That's where I opened it up. So did you, did you, like – did you happen to watch any back, like, in the back room when you were preparing, or are you kind of just preparing? Like, did any of this, like – did you see his performance and kind of, like, see anything with it that night? Did you have any intuition after the night unfolded, like this could be the next guy, or you just kind of don't really think like that and just like whoever your opponent gives you? I mean, oh, whoever I, mean gives you. I think uh, in the in the moment we, uh, I, I like watched the the fight on the TV back there and saw it happen and kind of was like, oh, wow, that's a nice knockout. But I mean, in the moment, no, nah, I wasn't really thinking that way. Like, oh, that might be my next opponent, but. Um, Shortly after the fight, they kind of started, you know, that was the idea. So, but, uh, yeah, I, I caught his fight. We watched it back, too, in a couple of his other fights. But, um, yeah, um, I think it's going to be, you know, exciting fight. Um, looks like he's generally in exciting fights. So, I think it's going to be a fun one. I do. And for the title on the line, did you see yourself jumping at the upper echelon this close out of the gate from your Cage Titans debut. I know you've been prepping for a while, but one fight on the map and you're already fighting for gold. How's that playing into this camp? Yeah, I mean, that's always just an added bonus. Um, I knew going into the, the last fight that my plan was just to turn around quick and fight um, quick within the next couple months. Um, so shortly after that fight, uh, this opportunity – was being discussed and came up, so I jumped on it, and I, I just want to get back in there and you know fight for the title. That's just an added bonus. Um, you know, um, this is gonna be my second um, title on the regional scene, um, so I'm excited for it, and it'll be a nice uh, a belt to have have on my resume. Nice. So you know, you 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 don't strike me as a guy that will be much of a trash talker, but the promoter in me, I got I got to try to mm -hmm. try to twist a little bit. Everett will be on later on tonight. Um, you know, if you had, you know, what would be a message that you would have for him, if any, um, you know, it, it, when he's on that we can kind of relay to him? Uh, you know, I don't, I've never obviously met the guy or talked to him or I haven't really seen much on him. Um, so I don't really know him. I don't really know what he's about. Um, but um, I don't know, just, you know, going to fight. I think, uh, you know, he puts on exciting fights. He's an explosive, strong guy. Um, but I think uh, he's jumping in a little over his head right off the bat here. Um, only three fights under his belt. Um, I don't even know if any of them even even got under the out of this first round. Um, so I think he's you know 
jumping in the deep end here a little too quick out of his out of the bat. But um, hey, we'll see March thirtieth. There you go. Well, man, I I gotta tell you this. Coming out, if you didn't see the beginning, because I know you were training. Coming out of January twenty seventh, you and Everett's performances were the most talked about. That people were asking me questions about. Um, you know, and, and to be quite honest, there were some other title contenders that we come. Me made it real easy for me uh, with those performances and the way things were kind of spoke about how dominant you were and then how dominant Everett was. Um, it, it just was, it made my life real easy to put this fight together. So I, I, I thank you for coming to Cage Titans and uh, really, you know, putting on such a performance and putting on such a show and, and really showing the Cage Titans community if they were living under a rock before and didn't know about the Warhawk, John Paris, but they definitely knew about you after. And, uh, you know, congratulations on that great performance. I look forward to another one in March. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys having me back fun for the title. I'm excited for it. Um, it's going to be a fun night. I think it's going to be an exciting fight for the duration it lasts. And I uh, can't wait. All right. So the so we like to play the Mystic Mac. The Parisma prediction. <laughs> Hit us with a prediction. Oh man, uh, I think uh, it's going to be a pretty, a pretty chaotic uh, pace right out of the gate. Um, he comes out super aggressive. Um, so I think the first round is going to be exciting. It's going to be back and forth. Um, I think if if the fight makes it out of the first, he's going to he's going to slow down. Um, I'm going to start to take over, and um, I think. Within, within definitely within the five rounds, um, I'm gonna get a finish, whether that's on the feet or on the ground. Um, yeah, I'll get it done within five. There you go. There's the Pierce oh, prediction. Within five, he says. And within five, and his his uh, his manager said it's gonna be bloody, and that he like uh -huh. they like to swim. When you said take yeah. him in the deep water, well, jump. Hey, let him know. I, I've been. In, I've won five rounds before. There you go. He said we like to swim. <laughs> ah, yeah, we'll see. Orders before we let you run for the night. Teammates, sponsors, whatever. The floor is yours. Yeah, just uh, shout out, you know, to all my sponsors. Um, you know, I'll get that going here um, soon. Um, but shout out to all my sponsors that have kept me going to this point. You guys make this possible. Um, shout out to all my teammates. Um, training partners, putting the work in me every day. Uh, shout out to my gym. Um, yeah, friends and family, everyone who's been by my side on this journey. Um, couldn't be here without you guys. Um, and I'm excited uh, to uh, have it pay off March 30th. All right, there you go, my man. Well, thank you so much, Warhawk. We look forward to seeing you March 30th. We look forward to promoting you even bigger and better this time. Now that we got footage on you, we got photos yeah, on you. Sure. So we're gonna, we'll give you the real the Royal Cage Titans treatment leading up to this title fight against Can't wait. Everett Disloyce. Appreciate it. Thank you, it. Thank you guys. Thank you, man. Thanks for your time. See you soon. Thank you.